just woken up uh, to the sound of something. We weren't sure what it was, but we were hitting the bottom. It's, I don't even know what time it is, but we're just trying to put the sail out. So the uh, mooring broke off. We tried sailing off and we were still stuck. Hi, my name is Alejandro. Four years ago, I left the Canadian canals and sailed down to the Caribbean. Join me as every winter I explore its beaches, wildlife, amazing people, and vibrant cultures. We will dive in to explore the marine life and keep looking for that perfect coconut. Subscribe as the adventure continues. We weren't sure what it was, but we were hitting the bottom of the ocean <laughs> and we've broken off the mooring, the whole ball's just broken off, so. It's, I don't even know what time it is, but we're just trying to put the sail out and get back to where we were. About good. three in the morning, we just broke off the morning. Started feeling like thumping, and the very bottom of the uh, morning broke off. We tried sailing off, and we were still stuck. Ah, I don't know. I think our <laughs> next bet is to use the anchor. Try to pull us upwind. working and turning the boat upwind. Unfortunately, I forced it too much and burnt it out, so I couldn't pull the boat right out. So my only option was to tie up the snubbers and just wait for the morning. We were stuck pretty good in the turtle grass, but luckily, fishermen on the way out spotted us and came to the rescue. Si quieres le hago un nudo que, que se pueda deshacer. Le puedo hacer uno. Ahí se suelta. Hey Nick, try to hold the wheel uh, just as steady as you can. It might, right in the middle, yeah. And then I'll let you know about the engine. We were trying super hard with both our engines, but no luck, we were quite stuck. Huh? Luckily, we spotted two more fishermen and they came to help us one on either side and one pulling on the halyard. When you pull the halyard on a 45 degree, it tilts the boat and hopefully frees the keel from the sand. Is it 
What's the depth? Hey, yes, two. And success. It took three pangas, 15 fishermen, and a whole lot of luck to get us out. But we did it. Dime. Okay. Me lo llevo. The whole experience was a little scary. But accomplishing something together with the fishermen had something really fun about it. And out here, kindness is the biggest currency. Everyone was really happy of what we achieved. Gracias, compañeros. Sí. Wow, voy a tirar el ancla ya. No confío en esas boyas ya. Gracias, Efe. Nos vemos. Sí, a las 2 de la mañana. That was epic. That was the best rescue ever, man. It's only 30 minutes after the rescue this morning. We have a nice breakfast. We, this is our last apple. Our last apple with the last bit of pancakes. Cheers. Cheers. It's the morning after the rescue and uh, I anchored really far away from there now. I came close to the reef line. Uh, there's a lot of sand here and it's super calm. So today we're going diving. The cut's really easy to get through and there's some really cool stuff outside the reef I want to explore. Uh, yeah, there's no way I'm trusting a mooring ball again. Just I slept so much better last night just knowing that my own anchor was down in the, in the sand. So yeah, let's go see what we find. Maybe some wrecks, maybe some cool fish. We'll find out. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Oh, you and I, we got it So we are <coughs> currently looking for things to, well that we don't really need anymore now that we're coming to like the end of the trip, to give to these fishermen that we've met. They invited us for lunch again so we were going to leave today for the next little island but um, we're going to go for lunch over there instead. So we're going to try to take them some things. We've got... Uh, We've got all this like package stuff that we're gonna give to them. So, some paper towels. We're gonna give them some wasabi. We don't know if they're gonna like it, but maybe they can try. Sesame seeds, flour, pasta, beans, some popcorn, because we've still got a pack. And then just some canned food, honey and jam. And Alejandro is having a look for maybe some fishing gear. Yeah, I wanna give them a whatever extra fishing stuff I have. They were asking for really heavy duty uh, hooks, but I don't know if I have any left. But uh, yeah, they came back this morning and uh, they invited us for one last dinner. Uh, yeah, they were super nice. And uh, they, were, they were the guys that rescued us yesterday. And we're gonna try to take them for a sail tomorrow, actually. Uh, they're gonna see if they can find the time. And we'll take them for a four hour sail. They've never been sailing, so it'd be a nice treat for them. 
This was actually me checking the mooring the day before we got stuck. The lesson to be learned is always use your anchor. If you have to take a mooring, make sure you're inspected thoroughly. Till next week guys, please subscribe and see you next time. Doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart moves slow. Somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the afterglow, will you carry me like I am home again? Wait, hold on. We'll be together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone.